Hey there YouTube, I'm here working on a uh, block heater on this 2002 Sequoia. Um, I'll put a link in the description for the full install video. Um, it has been a real uh, difficult install, lots of leaking, poorly designed uh, part. Um, you can learn about all that in the other video. But um, yeah, so I've had it installed for a while. Um, haven't really had to use it until recently when it got cold enough. Went to plug it in and the GFCI outlet behind me um, immediately would trip. So this video is going to be how to plug in your block heater um, without the GFCI tripping. That's a very common problem with block heaters, so I'm going to show you how to get around it. So here we have our GFCI outlet. As you can see there, the green light is on. Um, the two cords look identical from here, but there is a significant difference. Normal cord. This cord. Look what's missing. The ground prong. So that is how you get around the GFCI tripping. So when I plug in the blue cord, listen carefully and you'll hear the GFCI trip. Yep, barely got that far in and it tripped. Now I'm going to have to reset the GFCI. Now I plug in the orange cord. No tripping. I already climbed under the car and put my hand up next to the block heater and made sure it was getting heat, so um, this is the fix. I'm not offering any professional advice. I'm not an electrician, um, so this is a good workaround for me. Quick, easy, um, got the job done. Um, but if you want to do it the safer way, then get yourself another block heater or keep messing around, try to make it stop leaking. I don't know, whatever you want to do to try a different way. but. Uh, this is one simple way to get around the problem of the GFCI tripping on your block heater that might have some moisture and some leak going on um, without having to get under the car and um, do a bunch of messing around. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know if it helped you out. Leave a comment down below. Try to stay warm out there.